See that? So draft corset. Hmm. I'll wait for Joe, but um I'm back. Hey, what'd you like? Electrify or dismissive pyromancer? Or Arcane Encyclopedia. I think it's the Pyromancer. I think so too. Card seems really good. Yeah, it kills almost everything. I really like the Encyclopedia though, and Electrify is also fine. I also feel that red is kind of bad. Yeah, not great, but yeah, that's an interesting point. If red's not great, do we want to be doing that? Electrify is Electrify is much more splashable than Pyromancer. It is. I mean, I say that. I mean, it isn't. It isn't. I guess. I guess if you're not, if you're counting this as a four card removal spell. That comes in play and has to tap, which I hope you never are. Is he fucking? He's throwing away books and burning them in a library. He's dismissive. That's like, not dismissive. That's reckless. One. I don't. Sure. He's a reckless pyromancer. Hmm. Hmm. I don't mind encyclopedia. Encyclopedia is fun, but I, I think I'd, 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 I'd pyromancer here. Yes, I agree. Okay. Uh, heroic reinforcements. Snap pick. We're done. We're playing Boros. Yeah. Okay. Card. I mean, there's other cards in that ta that chat that table chat. But you'll never hear me talk about them. All right. Um, pretty excited about Gallant Cav here. When we just decided we're going wide white red. Yep. Um, gloves is a little bit slow for this. Pack beast requires some synergies. Nothing else here fits what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do is go face. Uh, Sky scanner, Joel master, and Rustwing Falcon. All pretty good. I like Joel masters. Uh, they let me attack in the early game. So I'm on the Drill Master over Rustwing plan. I like them because they build a wide board. And it feels like to me what Boros is trying to do is build a wide board. And this is part of doing that. Yeah, I I do like the Falcon. Um, but I agree that Drill Master lets you peck in a little bit extra damage early. And I think that's fine. All right, I, I'll take Falcons later. But I think I picked Drill Master over Falcon. Like, we'll take a Falcon now. I'll take a Falcon over a Lightning Mare. Lightning Mare is a little bit awkward to cast sometimes. Yeah. I don't like Lightning Mare. Yeah. It gets blocked by all the Rejuvenators. It gets blocked by all the other stupid... Late Luminous Bonds. Tough pick. Probably on Luminous Bonds over second Cav. Cav. But I really yeah. like second Cav. So it's not as easy agree, as it might look. I think Bonds is just a little bit ahead. First Bonds, anyways. Second, uh, Rustwing over First Sure Strike over Trumpet Blast. I don't want Trumpet Blast. If I can do this, I would m rather run Inspiring Charge and Indestructible Charge. I don't really want to run Trumpet Blast. So between Sure Strike and Rustwing Falcon for me, I really like Sure Strike. I don't love Falcons so much that I want a second one right now. I'd take first Sure Strike. Sure Strike is fine. Okay. The the question is with the Rustwing Falcons, are we gonna get some pants? Are we gonna do that as well as they no. go wide? No, we're not getting pants. You don't want to pants them up? No. I don't want fucking Knight Falcons. Falcons wear pants. I just want Axe Falcons, Marauders Axes. That's what okay. I care about. Eh, that's still pants. That counts as pants. Uh, you want a Swift Claw or a Rustwing Falcon here? I don't like Swift Claw. Okay. Fine with that. Again, again with all the one toughness. Is... Lava Axe. I don't like Minotaur. Do you like Minotaur? I've never played it. It's terrible. It's a worse Lava Axe because it has to get through to be able to do five damage. Yeah. Uh, I'm not taking second Lava Axe, although we could. If you want to be hilarious, we could. I think I would take first three, two. Hope to get better ones. This is not the best one to want to play. There's a, just a straight up better one in red white. That's a four two for three, and there's a three two menace one for three. Second lava axe seems very greedy. I do kind of want to get somebody to ten and double lava axe them, but that is very greedy. All right, I so think line breaker is fine. Fire elemental versus pack beast. Neither of them are cards I want in this deck. No. So fire elemental. Yeah. Better art. Uh, I mean, the I think best the art is west well drawn, but it's more interesting. The OG art for Fire Elemental is the best. Uh, Smelt. Sure. In case we decide we have artifacts in our own deck we want to remove. I'll hate draft. No, I don't, I don't care about any of these cards. This card is the neatest color combination. Okay. I'm a little surprised by Black getting all the flash features recently. Seems like an interesting turn for Wizards. Hmm. Infernal Hellion. Yes, please. Ah, uh, okay, so there's another, this is a little harder. Alpine Moon is a rare. Um, Meteor Golem's great, but it's seven. Are we going to be hitting seven in this deck? I hope not. Yeah, me too. Drill Master is fine. I like this card. I like it with motivators. I'm really hoping to get a Goblin Motivator, but I like this card. Yeah, I, I feel think like Italian. I like a better Lava Axe. Yeah. Oh. 
I don't really care about the recurring part. Splendid Angel is good enough to play. It's evasive. It wins the game. Yes. Okay. Happy to take that card. It's mana, so you can attack that you don't want to flood out, but you do. Ooh, wow, and all of these. Too. Oh, no! You want them all. I want them all. Do we just shame concede for not getting them all? Yep. Log out. Close on the stream. All right. Gallant Cav is exactly where this deck wants to be. Goblin Motivator is kind of where this deck wants to be as well. We just were talking about it. I would like a Motivator. They're the same rareness as Cavalry. They're a little bit less highly drafted. Sometimes they wheel. I think I got to take both over Marauder's Axe. Although Marauder's Axe is great here too. It's a little... Ah, damn. Marauder's Axe on our Rust Wings make them very playable. Yeah, I'm actually more on Axe than I am on the other two cards, to be honest. What? Wow, the one of Axe is so... Imp it, it's so... Imp ah, it's the least fun of them, though. No, but it wins you the most games. I like winning games. We didn't do that in the last draft, so we should consider doing that in this draft. All right, I'll take Marauder's Axe. I don't know if it's as close as that. Luminous Bonds versus Mighty Elite versus Ogre. I think Luminous Bonds number two is fine. Yep. I think it's better than Ogre, although Ogre's a fine three drop. I would love to play the fun cards in here, like Liliana's Contract or something, but no. Well, that only gets played against us. All right, these cards are all shit. Um, I don't want to play a Novice Knight, but I guess we could. I think it has to be Elephant for Curve. Yeah. But all the other cards in this pack are more fun. This for Enchantment Aura deck, which didn't work. This for just being a big creature. Mine Rot's super fun to play. Knight is fun when you can get it going, but I don't want to run the cuff to enable that. So I guess it's Blind Breaker. Is it that or the other Lava Axe? But... Yes! Motivator 1. Taking motivator. it over the Falcon. Okay. Uh, Teutonic Rift. You want to do it? Land Destruction? Yeah. It's uncommon. I'm taking it. Well, the second portion is actually more relevant. No, it is? Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah! I know, I know. Way more relevant. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a, it's a surprise you can't block me kind of thing. Knight of the Tusk as a finisher, or the Desecrated Tomb as a rare. Are we ever gonna play Knight of the Tusk in this deck? No. Sure, we might. It's better in Six Fire Elemental. Six mana, three seven. It's better in Fire Elemental. Can attack into boards <sighs> that you can't attack into with Fire Elemental. Oh, it's so bad though. Yeah. You can put an axe on it. Make it a five seven. It's not bad. I don't. I think I'd take the rare over it. Yeah, that's rare draft. No Reno, where it's pointless. All right, I'm taking Trumpet Blast. I don't want to play it, but I'm getting worried. We haven't seen the other ones yet. Priest is good for racing. I don't want to play Revitalize. Yeah. Fine with that body. I like a lot. Yes. I don't generally run more than one of them, but I'll take two. Mighty Leap is a combat trick. We haven't had it yet. Deck drafts itself when yep. you pick this color combination. There's no real thought behind it. Pick low aggressive curved creatures and smash them in the face. All right, let's hope Pack Three is good to us. Herald of Faith or Star Crown Stag, both of those are very good. I mean, this is, okay, this is a pack run. In the same way that Creeping Chill Pack Guild Mage or um, the Blue Red Guild Mage and uh, the Minotaur are a guild run or a, are a print run in MTG Arena Ravnica, this is the print run from M19. It's always Murder, Herald of Faith, and Vampire Sovereign, which means you never, yeah. ever get to play anything fun. It's always Murder if you're black, and it's always fucking Herald of Faith if you're white out of those three. Um, that sucks because Vampire Sovereign is so strong too. Yeah, it would be nice to babe to exactly to play both. Um, this is an interesting question because Stag is really good on four, but we have some other fours. We don't have any fives yet. We have other fours we're not upset on playing. Herald of Faith is great as an evasive creature, but so Stag. Stag Stag makes your other creatures evasive. That's what Stag does. I think I Stag over Herald in this deck, but I could if you twisted my arm and promised me beer, I'd pick a Herald. Harold does have some synergies with, with Resplendent Angel, but you need to gain more life as well. There's no synergy there. The only way we have well, any, I mean, if can, okay, if our if turn was we didn't have, if our turn was we had, no, we can't even do it. Like, I was trying to imagine a scenario where we cast Dwarven Priest and Herald of Faith, but we didn't have enough white mana to activate Angel. Well, you need to attack with Herald of Faith yeah. and then cast All right, Dwarven so we have Priest a motivator after. in play. And it's, yeah. it's not lethal, yeah. because if it were lethal, we wouldn't care about the lifelink angel. So it's not lethal, but it makes it go from a three-turn to a two-turn lethal by doing that one extra point of damage, two points of damage you get off Herald, or one point of damage you get off Herald. And the Dwarven Priest for life gain, because we were going to die. So in that scenario, I could see Herald of Faith uh, life gain being relevant for our angel. Yes, so in that case, we're going to take the stag. Is that what you're on to? I'm on stag as well. Yeah, I just want some more two drops though, at some point. Yeah, we do. I mean, this card is very good. Do we need it just as a finisher? We have a lava axe. We have a heroic reinforcements. We've got rust wings with marauders axes. I think I want the stag. Yep. 
That's gonna let your they they play a, the, another blocker and you're just gonna. Alright, we got our six drop. Taking that. Yeah. Unless you want second Marauders Axe, that would be discipline. No, but the Lathis is. You wanted to play fun two seconds ago. You wanted to play fun cards. Yeah, but we're playing Boros. You're never playing fun cards in Boros. You're playing the card that hits them in the face most efficiently. Now we get two. There's another stag here too. Are we sure we even take yeah. Lathless? Is that even the best pick in here? I don't know. I... Joe, but that's what you're here for. You're here to know. This is the problem, Joe. So Joe doesn't here's even the know thing. if he has anything wise to say at all. If the problem is if we take the stag, we're probably gonna have to cut. Well, tectonic rift is probably not gonna be there for playing another stag. Right. We may not play the dwarven priest. We'll play another stag. Lathis is a bomb finisher that's just gonna win me the yeah it's he who lasts less lasts most i think right yeah that's the expression pretty sure the old, the thing is the star crown stag does make our locks it on line breakers which right now we're playing yeah it makes them way better like at least twice as much better this is a we just made the star crown stag over evasive fire pick though do we want to do it again we have two motivators too. This is a five five flying haste for six. Six six flying haste. Yeah, that card is real strong. Ah fuck. Yes! Instigators and ogres. Two and three drops. And inspired charge. And Why are charge. they all in the same fucking pack? We have to have twos in this deck. We don't have enough. Yep. And it also makes a token for the reinforcement. Yep. And we can play the trauma glass, it's fine. We need to get that though. It's much better. Dragon Egg and another hey, look, stag. stag. Yeah. Dragon Eggs. We now have the combo. The yes, dream we combo. Can cast a zero two and make a five five. It's a dragon. It is. And then it's another dragon when oh, but it's non token dragon. So you only get it when you cast the egg. Blah. Yeah. Oh no synergy. Fuck that. Take the stag. Oh. Inspired charge. Oh brute. No. It's got Why? it's gotta be the brute. <laughs> Why? It has to be the brute. Every time I the wanna pick something so fun, you make me pick this shit. We can't win this game with Trumpet Blast. We can win with Heroic Reinforcements. Trumpet Blast doesn't win games. Trumpet Blast brings shame to your family. You want to play the Inspired Charge? It's so much better than Trumpet Blast. I would play... If I had the choice between Trumpet Blast and Inspired Charge, I'd play that. But I think I, here, sure. I'm, either, I'm either on Sure Strike or Bogart Brute. We don't have good threes, I, and we don't have enough, so I'm probably on the no, Bogart Brute. I, yeah, we have to upgrade the Line Breakers, or just get more threes. Yeah. Shock versus Inspired Charge. I think I have Inspired Charge here. Shock is just so not good. It isn't, but we have tokens and motivators and shit like that. This is going to be one of the type of decks I hate the most, Joe. This is going to be pray you draw and curve and win the game. Yeah, in our opening hands, you're going to be Cavalry, Stag, Stag, Lathless, and yep. like three land. Yeah, We're at 26 right now. No mana fixing. What cards are coming out right now? I'm probably... Minus one Falcon right now. Yeah. Probably minus Dwarven Priest. As much as I like him, because yeah. he builds board, but I don't think so. I'm probably one Falcon out. Uh, 24. One more out. Do you want to play a Rift? It's, oh, right. I didn't even think about those cards. I'm definitely not playing a Rift. I don't think I'm playing Lava Axe in this deck either. I think with the last list, last list we don't have to in the Stags. I think it's fine. So you like Inspired Charge here? Or you like shock? I mean, it's close. This is a very late shock. It is. It's what's your, like. I value trumpet blast and inspired charge as being the equal finisher. As nope. you tack with your dudes, you win. Nope. The... Not even close. Because what? And I, and I know that's not the way that it works. It's just it's what happens is if you have trumpet blast in your hand, your opponent makes the same blocks regardless, and you always it's always it's not trading down. You're always trading creatures for um, damage, and if it doesn't yeah. finish them, your game ends. With inspired charge, and even more so about the plus one plus zero in uh, inspirational charge, it lets you take a board where you've got four guys, and all the trades are bad for you, and your opponent makes good blocks, and then you surprise him with a thing that fucks with his blocks and actually matters. And that's the difference. The difference is it's a value-related thing. And a lot of times you don't get there on a single attack with Trumpet Blast winning the game. You get there on the next two attacks by having traded successfully with Inspired Charge. And having played both of these a lot, I really hate Trumpet Blast. And I'm fine with Inspired Charge. The one I like the most is a plus one, plus zero, and indestructible. Yes, and I agree. reinforcements. So I would take if, this. If, if our deck had more instigators... I would actually think the Trouble Blast is fine, but since we don't have the lower end of it, 
I think Inspired Charge is probably what would win out over Trumpet Blast. But yeah, the question having is the Trump- shock. Yes, having the Trumpet Blast and Shock, is that better than having just Inspired Charge? We're probably doing 16 lands with this deck. So I think we're actually plus I think one so. card. I think I would take Inspired Charge over Shock here. It seems weird to say that, because Inspired Charge is like a dime a dozen, but this is pack three. We haven't had an offer we were yet where we've passed Inspired Charge twice or three times now. So yeah. Shock has good synergy with if they throw down a 3-2. That's the synergy we get out of that. They have a 3-2 yep. blocker. Who buys 3-2 blockers? Nobody. Yeah. 2-2 two, two blockers, I, I guess, the other thing. Inspired Charge, I think it's fine. Yeah, I'm taking that too. I just don't like... Um, oh, I thought this was... Um, Chaos the Chaos Wand. And then I was going to say we'd have to do it for the memes at that point. You want to take an Invoke Divine main deck? I don't think I do. I think I'd draft no. it. Draft the rare then. No. At some point, I'm not going to have to draw those anymore. I don't think we're ever playing anything in here. Maybe we need a 2-drop. Yeah. Are we playing this? I don't think so, though. We have three two drops. Maybe. maybe. We have three two drops? I hate, I hate playing the Field Creeper. I think I'd play yeah, a Rustling have, Falcon over it. We have three ones, yeah. We have four ones if we need to. Yeah, fuck that. We're card. not going to play that. All right. So if we're not playing that, I'm taking the Uncommon. We might have to play that. Uncommon doesn't matter. Another poor fool lost in time and space. Suit him up. Welcome d back. Thanks. For the sub. I'll run one Knight's Pledge if you really want me to. Is that or the Knight of the Tusk? I think we're way off Knight of the Tusk. Okay. Lob Axe? Sure. Is that our Tormenting Voice? Inspired Charge. Nice. I wish I'd taken the uh, Shock now, but not my budge. I'll run two Inspired Charge and be fine with that. Yeah. I think actually two is where you want to be. Sure, Strike Wheel. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. Lava Axe number three. Yeah. Let's go four of Lava Axes and just never attack them. We got it. This should be we, the we four Lava like Axe. No way. Lava axes. This should be the four Lava Axe never attack plan. Oh, thank you, d -Mac. 44 right now. We're going to go down to 16 lands. We could get... I mean, look at this. We could run four Lava Axes and... Why didn't I put them in my deck that doesn't... It, doesn't, it, doesn't, it thinks it knows me. Where are my five drops? Fuck just happened. Gotta, we got a play set of Lava Axes. Take out the Stags. Take out the Inspired Charges. Just going to do we're gonna do 20 damage off of the Lava Axe. I mean, why don't people do that in Limited? It seems strong. I mean, there's a little bit of light gain in this set, which makes it awkward. Do you want a Sure Strike or a Mighty Leap? I think I prefer Sure Strike. Keeps my yeah. Sure alive. I, when you're... when So Mighty Leap is better defensively because you jump a thing and block it and keep where Sure Strike is just better being aggressive. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. We have no dual lands. A little bit awkward. What are we cutting here? I I guess the only card I consider cutting here is Pledge. I just don't. I don't think we can afford to go negative value in this deck, right? No. I mean the line breakers aren't great, but I we don't, don't have enough threes. Can. Four threes, four twos right now. Three yeah. twos. Who built a fucking aggro deck with three twos and four threes? What were they thinking? It's all of our four mana spells. So that's the problem with the Boros in M19 is that there's too many four. There's not enough twos and threes that you want to play, and there's too many fours. What if we cut Lathless and all of our cards that weren't Lava Axe? Just, do you just want to play uh, four Lava Axes and 36 lands and just mulligan until we get four Lava Axes? <laughs> I didn't even thought about the mulligan selection. That would be strong. No, I'm okay with this. This seems okay to me. Yeah. It's a little bit awkward on the mana because we aren't going to hit four all the time with this. And there's no way I'm running. Oh, nine. Actually, nine, eight might be okay. Nine, seven, rather. Do you have double white? Eh, I guess that's actually okay. I prefer to run. Uh, I would have liked one duel here, but this is okay. Nine, seven. I think it because says, of the. It risk. thinks 10 7. No, no. No. Bad game. Okay. All right. So instead of. It's too bad we don't have a little bit faster answers. Like compared to the Boros decks, this, I agree. Compared to Ravnica Boros, this does seem weak. But we'll see. Where's the booze? Yeah. Uh, no booze today. I got I to gotta travel down to Milwaukee. We're doing Thanksgiving with my wife's family today, kind of. What were you saying, Joe? Sorry to cut you off. Oh, no, that's fine. But th that's comparing apples to oranges when you compare the 
Boros in this to Boros to rep. Thank you for making the deck name easy. Apples to oranges. Let's go. Face is the place. And our plan is, okay, if we go 0 and 2 with this, we're switching to the 4 Lava Axe plan. Okay. The, the deck box has to be Lava Axe picture. Does it? Yeah, we have four of them. What about Field Creeper? Okay. That's also Look, acceptable. Look, he looks like he's harvesting apples or oranges. He does. We're not even playing this. I think this is disrespectful to Lava Axe. Field Creeper understands not, he's not a player. We're not even playing the Field Creeper. Yeah, but he's not <laughs> a playable card. He knows that. Lava Axe, Lava Axe, you can finish with that. 